Are you curious if you can still grow taller? Many believe an x-ray is the only way to know if your growth plates are still open. However, I will show you how to determine if your growth plates are still open without the need for expensive medical imaging. We'll explore several reliable methods that provide strong indicators about the status of your growth plates, leveraging your body's own biological signals and observable physical changes. One of the most accurate methods available without x-rays is through a targeted blood test. This simple procedure can analyze key hormones and enzymes circulating in your bloodstream, offering valuable insights into your current growth activity. Specifically, we're looking for levels of IGF-1 or insulin-like growth factor 1. This crucial hormone is produced by your liver in response to human growth hormone, and consistently high levels strongly indicate that your growth plates are actively open and contributing to longitudinal bone growth. Another important marker revealed by a blood test is ALP or alkaline phosphatase. ALP is an enzyme that's heavily involved in the process of bone formation. Elevated levels of ALP directly correlate with active osteoblast activity. That means new bone tissue is being laid down, which is a pretty clear sign that your growth plates are still open and facilitating growth. Beyond blood work, growth pains can serve as an observable, albeit less precise, indicator. As your long bones continue to lengthen, the surrounding soft tissues, muscles, tendons, and ligaments all have to stretch to accommodate this growth. This stretching often shows up as aches or discomfort, typically felt in the knees and shins. While not everyone experiences these sensations and not all leg pain is growth-related, their presence can suggest ongoing growth. Observing signs of delayed puberty can also provide clues. For males, indicators may include a noticeable lack of facial hair, a slower pace of muscle development compared to peers, and frequent, persistent voice cracks. These suggest that the body's hormonal cascade for full maturation is still in progress, potentially leaving growth plates open longer. For females, signs of delayed puberty could include a distinct lack of breast development or a notably late onset of menstruation. Similar to males, these physical cues indicate that the hormonal processes typically responsible for growth plate fusion are not yet complete. Finally, the most straightforward and unmistakable sign is recent height growth. If you have observed a measurable increase in your height within the last 12 months, this is a clear and undeniable indication that your growth plates are still actively contributing to your stature. This direct evidence bypasses the need for any complex tests. Um, subscribe and like for more explanation videos like this one.